Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as I suffer through this obnoxious voice, is going to be an empties video and you guys, like, I have a ton, a ton. I haven't done an empties video in forever. I know they're one of your favorite videos to watch. They're the ones that get probably the most views on my channel. As per usual, <clears throat> uh, we have a lot. So we're gonna breeze right through. I have a lot of makeup this time around, which I think is really cool, because I haven't really had too, too much makeup throughout the times that I've done empties, but this time's different. So let's just dive right in. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you have not subscribed, don't forget to hit the red button before you leave, and let's just get right into this so I can get through this. Also, I know, usually I open with my wine empties. But let me know what you guys think. Do you want to see my wine empties or my thoughts on the different wines that we do try? Um, I actually just got to go to a brand new winery last night with a friend of mine here um, in town. So it was really cool and I just wanna know what you guys think. So let me know down below in the comments if you do want me to continue showing you my wine empties. I finished up a mascara. This is the Ulta Beauty Maximum Lashes Defining and Lengthening Mascara. It's got a super spiky plastic wand and it was really, I don't know. I thought I liked it and then I kind of grew away from liking it. It was very stabby stabby, but it did really separate the lashes well. It just didn't do much else for them other than separate them. I also finished up two samples from Sephora and I wanted to mention these because they were incredibly good and I did not expect them to be. Um, this one was the Rose, or sorry, the, the brand is Fresh, Rose Deep Hydration Serum. So there was the serum and then there was also the Fresh Rose Hydration Cream. So you use them together. Um, they were actually incredible and I might consider purchasing the full size, which is weird because I hate the smell of rose. Like it's one of my least favorite scents on earth. The combination of the two made my skin baby soft, beautiful. So that was actually a good find. I used up this really weird, weird, um, it's by Ulta Beauty. I can't really show you what it looked like. I guess kind of see the outline of the lips. It was one of those like jelly lip masks that you put on. This chapped my lips so bad that now, a week and a half later, they're still getting over being chapped on like the outer edges of it. Never again. I used up a beauty blender, beauty blender? Yeah, that's the word. Beauty blender cleanser solid. I actually thought this was amazing and look how clean that is. Like I've been using this for like three or four months and that's how clean this got it. So yes, these are absolutely fantastic. I finally got through a foundation. Oh my God, I never get through foundations. This is the e.l.f. What are these called? I forget what they're actually called. It's, but it's the, uh, the ones in the glass bottles. I liked to use this as a mixer, probably why it took so long, with my more matte foundations, because this one is very, very dewy. My skin has changed a lot and my preferences have, but it is definitely a very good foundation at the drugstore. I went through a little deluxe size powder. This was the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I do have a full size backup of this, so I wanted to get through this one because I have a big, you know, tub of the other one. I very much enjoy this. I think I already mentioned this in my update with my friend Ashley Elizabeth um, in our not safe for work project pan, that's the one. Um, this was a deluxe size sample of the Perfectly Posh Big Fat Yummy Hand Cream in the scent My Hands Are Tied. I didn't like the scent of this. Um, it was supposed to be Thai tea topped with coconut cream, but it didn't smell sweet at all. It smelled super generic, like doctor's office lotion generic. So I wouldn't purchase that scent, but I love the formula of those hand creams. This is by the brand Herborean. It's a Korean skin company and it's their CC cream, High Definition Radiance Face Cream. This matched my skin beautifully. In fact, it was such a gorgeous finish. I didn't have to set it with powder. It didn't take away the look of my skin. I finished up an eyeshadow. Look at eyeshadow pan. Isn't that cool? You don't see these very often. Um, this was a shadow by Makeup Geek in the shade Masquerade. If you have not watched my Pop of Color Project Pan intro, this guy took a tumble and just shattered all over my desk and left a little bit behind that I could use up, but I'm still calling it done because I used most of it up before it broke all over the place. This next product is by Lancome and this was a pretty good sized sample. I mean, that's a good size. Um, and this was the Renergy Lift Multi-Action Lifting and Firming Cream. I loved this. This was great under makeup. I wore it every morning before I went out on the bike or before I went out just in the sun in general during the summer and it was amazing. You guys, look who came over to say hi. <laughs> look how big he's getting, it's my Jack Jack. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> So this is Jack, short for uh, Jack Skellington, Jack-o-lantern, Jackass. The next product that I had was by Kiss, and this is one of their blowout lashes. I wish I could tell you what I thought about these. 
I know I love Kiss lashes and these ones were like the leveled, like the, the double layered wispy lashes. I also used up one of these little foil packs of the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm and the Agave Sugar Lip Scrub. I wasn't a fan of the, sh the sugar lip scrub, but I did use up the, um, the lip balm. This lasted me like a month and a half of daily use. It was amazing. In fact, I would put this on before bed because it's a very thick, thick consistency. And I would layer it on before bed, go to bed, and I would wake up and that would still be on my lips. It was incredible. In fact, I think once I get through a couple more lip balms, I will repurchase this because it was that good. I finished up another mascara. This was the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir deluxe size mascara. Um, my friend Melanie here on YouTube, Mr. Kong's mom, this is like one of her holy, holy grail mascaras, but I cannot get it to work for me. Okay, this. I have a little mini rant, okay? This is kind of like one of my flop products. This is by Ren Pure Originals. It is the Argan Oil Luxurious Conditioner. This went rancid. I don't think I've ever had a conditioner in the proper shelf life that it claims go full rancid. I went to open this in my shower one day after I segued and used a different conditioner for a bit. I can't smell it right now. I don't know why I'm opening it. I can't smell a damn thing. But when I did, oh, it smelled so sour and just nasty that I dumped it out in the shower and rinsed the bottle before I put it in this container because it smelled that bad. So it did not last its entire shelf life from what it claims to last, but I just didn't find that it did anything. It left a little like heaviness residue to my hair. Wasn't a fan. Wouldn't repurchase it. I've actually moved into a different brand of shampoo and conditioner, so it is what it is. Let's go into a few perfume samples. You guys love when I talk about perfume, obviously. It's my number one most viewed video on my channel. Both of them actually. Both of my perfume collection videos. Um, I'll link them down below or up above somewhere. I don't know if you want to watch them. Either way, um, this one I'm actually wearing as we speak. I just used it up a minute ago. This is the Hermes Eau de Citron Noir, but the problem is, is it's so citrusy, it smells like floor cleaner. This next one that I have is by Kenzo World, and this one is in the scent Ambery Floral. This smelled so good, and I've never heard of Kenzo World, but now I'm actually considering purchasing full size. This is absolutely beautiful. Then I have Dior Poison Girl, which I also really, really liked. Um, this one is Icy Orange and Sparkling Neroli, um, so I really, really liked this one as well. I then finished up the MAC Candy Yum Yum that I had in my Pop of Color Project Pan. I wouldn't repurchase it. It smelled like a sweet tart, and I mean, it just, it never lasted on my skin. It wasn't my favorite thing in the world. I then had MAC Ruby Woo from that same Project Pan, um, and this one smelled like straight cedar, like wood. It smelled like wood. I actually really, really liked mixing it with some of my sweeter perfumes in my collection that sometimes are too overpoweringly sweet or too floral. The same thing went with this one. This is the MAC My Heroin. Same idea. It was also very spicy, like peppery spicy, but I didn't like it by itself. I liked it mixed with other things. I then finished up a Aqua de Jo by Giorgio Armani. You guys know I absolutely love Armani perfumes. I have a bunch of them. Again, go check out my perfume collection if you want to see what I have. But this was the one that I don't really like out of the line of the de Jo's. I finished up my purse hangout perfume in uh, Marc Jacobs Decadence. I have two full sizes of this. I have a lot of this. This is almost on the border of being overwhelmingly sweet, but I love it so much. It's a fantastic fall and winter fragrance. And I think this is the last perfume sample. I could be wrong. We'll see. This is by YSL and it's Black Opium. This is like the fifth one of these minis I have finished up. I also have two larger deluxe size samples and then a full size bottle. <laughs> This next product is an eyeliner by ColourPop. This is one of their cream gel liners in the shade Get Paid. It is like a coppery, like rose gold color. These are fantastic. This formula is so creamy. It glides right on the waterline, stays all day. I used up an entire pack of the Swispers Soft Touch Facial Squares. Um, these ones did have a lot of that linty poofing when you used them so it would like fly up in the air. If you guys hear any like crunching or movement, it's it's Jack behind me, the kitten. He's playing with a bunch of the boxes back here. Um, I used up a pair of the Ardell Soft Touch number 152 lashes. I really didn't like these. The band on these is very thick. I forgot I finished this one up too. Another foundation. Are you shocked? I'm shocked. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Creamy Vanilla. This was too dark for me. I mean, not by much, but it was just slightly too dark for me. Um, I did end up mixing this with the e.l.f. That's why they ended at the same time. 
I used up a Equate Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I actually like these a lot. They do have a little bit of a perfumey scent to them. Um, I originally bought these to use, as, you know, just to clean up swatches on my arm, but I do tend to use these on my face as well. They take off makeup beautifully. I used up a foaming hand soap. This was by Perfectly Posh, and it's their sulfate-free foaming hand soap in the scent Sassy Uma. I love the scent of Satsuma or Sassy Uma, but it felt very drying, which is odd because it was sulfate free, but it was super drying on my hands. Um, and the pump on this, it was horrible. I mean, when we got to probably here, it stopped working. I used up the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion Serum. I've had these before. I just use them up. I don't really like them. They don't do anything like at all. I don't notice a difference. It's not a big deal. I wouldn't purchase it, but I mean, if I get them, I'll use them because why not? I used up the Ulla Henriksen Truth Serum, which is like a vitamin C serum for your skin. I actually have a deluxe size right now going over here. I did like this and I do like it. It's not anything that, you know, blows my mind, but it definitely does help with dark spots on your skin. It absorbs very quickly and it smells great and it lays beautifully under makeup, so I have no complaints. I used up the Garnier Fructis Smoothing Treat One Minute Hair Mask. This is the avocado extract one. Um, I liked this. I didn't like it so much as a mask, but I used this as a daily conditioner and in that aspect it was really nice. I used up a random little hand sanitizer. I think this was actually from like Bodycology or something from Walmart. I don't know. I stole it from my kid. I used up a little Sephora sample of the Sephora foundation in the shade Light. I really didn't like it. I felt like it was like really exaggerated texture on my face and created texture where there wasn't. It was really weird. I used up another pair of lashes. I didn't realize I used up that many. Um, and these were by Ardell again, but these were the Wispies 113s and these I love. I love the Wispies of Ardell. I used up the Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydrocharged Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Woo, mouthful. Um, I didn't use this the way it was intended. I tried and honestly priming sprays to me are like they don't do anything. So I used this just to kind of mist my brush and set my eyeshadow. One more perfume sample. We have the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. You guys have probably heard me talk about this before. I like the scent of it. It doesn't last on my skin. Most perfumes do, but literally I could spray this entire container and you won't smell it three minutes later. This was a sample of the Cover Effects Power Play Foundation. Didn't like it at all. It was super cakey on me. It looked like foundation on me. It sat on my skin, didn't mesh with my skin. So I definitely wouldn't purchase it. This was the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. <clears throat> I've come to the conclusion that cleansing oils and me just don't get along. When I use a cleansing oil, no matter what one I've tried so far, they always leave this thick, like oily residue on my face. No matter how much I wash it off, I'll even use a second cleanser most times and try to get it off and it still doesn't come off. I don't know what it is about my skin, but it loves to just adhere to oil and hold it. <laughs> okay, you guys, that is it for my empties video on the beauty side of things. I will be doing a home fragrance empties um, probably next. I'll film it right now. So you'll see it very soon in the same whole outfit kind of situation. Again, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. If you guys have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Pop me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and let me down below if you do want to see me include my wine empties again starting up from now on just because I'm not sure how to handle it. If you guys like it, if you don't, whatever. So again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for 1500 subscribers, you guys, within less than a year. I'm absolutely blown away at the support you guys have given me. It is such a blessing to be growing this channel so well just by the love you guys give me. It means a lot to me. Let me know down below also what other videos you would like to see from me. I have a lot on my plate coming in, but I am going to be filming a bunch of new things at your request. So let me know down below what you want to see and we will get it done. Thank you guys. I love you and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.